it is interesting to me how this system has continued pretty much the same way for years and years and years, except the economic hitmen have got better and better and better. Then we come up with, very recently, what happened in Venezuela. In 1998, Hugo Chavez gets elected president, following a long line of presidents who had been very corrupt and basically destroyed the economy of the country. And Chavez was elected amidst all that. Chavez stood up to the United States, and he's done it primarily demanding that Venezuelan oil be used to help the Venezuelan people. Well, we didn't like that in the United States. So in 2002, the coup was staged, which is no question in my mind, and most other people's minds, that the CIA was behind that coup. The way that that coup was fomented was very reflective of what Kermit Roosevelt had done in Iran, of, of paying people to go out into the streets to riot, to protest, to say this Chavez is very unpopular. You know, you, if you can get a few thousand people to do that, you, you get television, and you can make it look like it's the whole country, and things start to mushroom. Except in the case of Chavez, he was smart enough, and the people were so strongly behind him that they overcame it, which was a phenomenal moment in the history of Latin America.